Let us get an overview of list and set. There are four types of collections in Python, while list and set fundamentally contain homogeneous elements, dict and tuple contain heterogeneous elements. Homogeneous means same type. Examples of collections with homogeneous elements, collection of employees, collection of unique employees, collection of integers, collection of unique integers, collection of students, all these are nothing but collection of elements of same type. For collection of employees, we can use list. For collection of unique employees, we can use set. Similarly, for collection of integers, we can use list. For collection of unique integers, we can use set. For collection of students, we can use list. If it is collection of unique students, we can use set. Based upon the requirement, we should use appropriate type of collection. When it comes to list, it is nothing but group of homogeneous elements. There can be duplicates in the list. List can be created by enclosing square brackets like this. This is the example for the list. Empty list can be initialized using square brackets without elements in, it, in them and also we can use list like this to actually create a empty list. When it comes to set, it is nothing but group of homogeneous elements. No duplicates allowed in the set. Even if you add same element more than once, such elements will be ignored. Set can be created by enclosing elements in curly braces like this. This is the example for set. When it comes to empty set, it can be initialized using only set like this. This is nothing but set constructor. We should be able to use set constructor and we should be able to create set for our elements. However, we cannot initialize empty set using curly braces like this as it will be treated as empty dict. Empty dicts can be initialized using curly braces like this. List and set can be analogous to table with columns and rows while dict and tuple can be analogous to a row within a table. For example, if you are trying to read data from employees in a database table, then you will create a list of employees where each element will be of type row or employee object. Whereas each individual row which contain employee ID, name, salary, etc. which are of different type, we typically use dict or tuple for them. List can hold duplicate values while set can ho only hold unique values. That's the fundamental difference between list and set. Based upon these characteristics, we will be able to perform different types of operations in these collection type objects. We will get into those details as we deep dive further. If you want to have a row with column names, then we use dict, otherwise we use tuple, which I have already emphasized earlier. We will deep dive into all types of collections to get better understanding about them, but for now we will perform some primitive operations with respect to list and set. This is how you can actually initialize the list. You can actually check the elements of the list by saying L like this. You can initialize empty list like this. You can check the values of L. There is nothing in this because it's empty. You can get the type of the list by saying type of L like this. You can see the type of L is nothing but list. You can also initialize the list like this. You can see that uh, it is written in an empty list. You can check the type once again. You can see that it is of type list. This is how set can be initialized. In curly braces, you can specify the elements. Let us create this set. There are duplicates in this. There are two threes and two fours. However, as part of the output, you only see one three and one four. Data need not be sorted when uh, you add elements to set when it eliminates the duplicates. However, as our input is sorted, we are seeing output sorted here. Now you can set type of face like this. It is a of type set. You can initialize empty set like this. You can see here it is of type set. You can run this. However, if you set type of yes, it will be of type dict. So you cannot use this approach to initialize empty set. However, when you initialize like this, it will be of type set only. Let me run this once again. And you can see that this is of type set. This is how you should be able to perform some basic operations on list or set. We will deep dive further and see what all operations are permitted on these collections which contain similar type of objects in them.